on the Wednesday when they called us up in the office, I thought, oh, well, this is just another meeting. It won't be anything too much. And uh, yeah, then we were stood down straight away. So yeah, it was a very big surprise. There was no money there to pay anything. Uh, blokes were working for their last week and never got paid for it. I had uh, annual leave here. Well, they couldn't pay that. All your sick pay and um, your uh, long service leave and all that, I mean, it all adds up to quite a, f a substantial amount of money, which um, would have been really handy to have on that day. I mean, it gives you the, gives you the time to go and then look for another job instead of being told you're getting nothing and you haven't got a job. When we all came to work one day on the 16th of February to be called into a meeting, not to be allowed into the factory, and me and 240 people walked out of that factory and obtained nothing. The company was broke, had no funds, none at all, and couldn't pay us any percentage whatsoever of what we were entitled to, what we'd worked hard for, and what we thought if ever we did have to move on, we would have to secure us some sort of a future going forward. When a company goes broke and can't pay its employees' entitlements, the government has a safety net scheme called the General Employee Entitlements and Redundancy Scheme, known as GEARS. When a company is declared insolvent, GEARS provides a payment to employees for their lost wages and some of their other entitlements but what GEARS doesn't do is recover in full an employee's super entitlements, and most importantly, it doesn't provide all of an employee's redundancy pay. Right now, there are 250,000 employees in manufacturing whose length of service means they're entitled to more than 16 weeks redundancy pay if their employer goes out of business. If their employer doesn't keep aside that money, GEARS won't cover all of their lost entitlements. Gears is a result of a political fix created by John Howard after his brother Stan's textile factory collapse, owing its employees thousands of dollars in unpaid wages, superannuation, holiday leave and long service leave. Gears was never supposed to be a long-term solution, and the longer it's gone on, the more problems it has created. It lets employers cover their obligations with millions of dollars of taxpayer funding and it leaves employees tens of thousands of dollars out of pocket because while GEARS covers some entitlements, it leaves a gap, especially for long-serving employees. In the manufacturing industry, workers have been asking for a scheme that protects our entitlements in full. We believe it should be a universal scheme paid for by employers and not the government. The current laws dealing with company insolvency have several negative consequences for workers. Firstly, a business in trouble can set up a shell company and transfer its assets across so that workers have no one to sue for what they're owed. Secondly, when a business has closed and there are assets left, employees are not treated as secured creditors under the law, so banks and other lending agencies take the lion's share, if not the whole lot, leaving nothing for workers. And finally, where an employer has been setting money aside for annual leave, long service leave, and so on, the fact that GEARS will cover some of the entitlements has encouraged employers to dip into that money as an unsecured high-risk loan to get them through a difficult period. But if they don't make it through, that money is gone. This has been the case in dozens of workplaces over the past 10 years, including ANSET, and is exactly what happened at John Valves in Ballarat and DSI in Albury this year. When a company collapses without money to pay its workers, the time it takes for GEARS payments to be made and the fact that GEARS doesn't cover everything causes anguish and uncertainty on top of the shock for workers who have just lost their jobs. People had no money and no job and couldn't feed their families. They relied on other family members to, and other agencies in town to supply food, to pay electricity bills. There was children that couldn't go on excursions. People had to live off the money that they had saved for other things. People who had put money up all of their life into funds for their children to attend university and further their education were pulling out that money from bank accounts and trust accounts to use. The global financial crisis means that the need to introduce a lasting solution 
to fully fund entitlements is urgent. In the last 12 months, more than 50,000 manufacturing workers have lost their jobs, and there has been a 40% increase in the number of firms that have been placed in administration. The government had to double the funding of GEARS in the recent federal budget, and we're concerned that it's not viable in the long term. The AMWU has negotiated enterprise agreements where employers agree to set aside money for entitlements into a fund. But this is not the case in many workplaces. It would be much cheaper if every employer made a small contribution, instead of leaving it to the employers who do the right thing on an enterprise basis. Employers need to take responsibility for the money that they owe their workers. It is simply not acceptable for employers to rely on government to cover their cost or to be able to treat their employees' entitlements as an interest-free, unsecured loan. And it is certainly not good enough for workers to be consistently missing out on the full payment of what they are owed. I think it's just disgusting what they've done, really. I mean, we have a lot of, you know, 99% of the people that worked here put their heart and soul into the place. And then to be just left out there and with nothing, um, it's just absolutely disgusting. In the short term, we do need the government to extend gears to cover employees' entitlements beyond 16 weeks. And workers should be at the front of the queue of secured creditors ahead of the banks. And in the long term, we need changes to corporations' laws to allow proper prosecution of employers who do not put away money to cover the legal obligations they owe to their employees and to also be able to reach behind the corporate veil to access assets that have been stripped from the enterprise that owes employees money. But the simplest and most effective solution is to establish a universal scheme paid for by a small contribution from employers, which guarantees entitlements in full. There is many laws, corporation laws, that protect the companies. We need some laws that protect the workers so they can walk away in a situation like this, already undignified as it is because they've just lost their jobs.